Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to show you how to make your own Newton's Cradle. And we're going to be using 14 popsicle sticks. We have the jumbo size popsicle sticks, six marbles, and several feet of string. We have six feet of string today that we'll be using. You'll probably want to have with you a hot glue gun, some scissors, and maybe some tape. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can always use glue, but the time between glue, the glue and drying is going to slow down this process. That's why for the video, I'm using a hot glue gun. All right, so let's start building this. Let's get those popsicle sticks and whatever way you're going to glue, like hot glue or Elmer's glue, those will be the first things we'll need. Okay, for our first step, we're going to take four popsicle sticks and lay them out in a square on, in front of you. We are going to make three of these squares all glued up to make up the sides and the top of our Newton's Cradle. So let's go ahead, let's start to glue these up. If you're using Elmer's glue, you have to be patient as it dries in between. But I'm going to be using just hot glue, so it'll be ready instantly. Take your time so that these come out as square as possible. So I have one done, I'm going to make two more. Okay, now that we have our three squares in front of us, this is going to be making up the sides and then the top of our cradle. So then you'll see that we have these two additional, additional supports and that will just kind of keep it from collapsing in on itself. That's what those two extra popsicle sticks will be for. So let's go ahead and let's put the sides up on this and or kind of like we're going to build this upside down. So let's think of this one here as the bottom or the top and that's going to sit on our bottom. So this is the top one and then we're going to put the sides up like this. So let's go ahead and glue that in. This one you might need to have a parent or a friend or a sibling help you out with gluing this together because it'll take a second to dry if you're using hot glue. Now with our sides up, now let's go ahead and create a brace using the last two popsicle sticks that are going to connect the two sides together. So now that we have that cube all glued up, we need to make these strings that are going to be holding on to the marbles themselves. So we would say that you should use about a foot of string per marble. So we have six marbles in our kits, so you want to have about six feet of string, which is included in your kit, but we need to cut it down to one foot sections. So I'm going to use a ruler, and I'm just going to measure out the string and then cut it each time I get to 12 inches or one foot. So let's do that now. So now I've got those six sections of string that are both a foot long. With this part here, this is where you need to connect your marble to your string. And it should be as centered on that string as possible. So if the string is 12 inches, half of 12 would be 6. 
So we need to try to secure the marble to right at the six inch mark on the string. So my ruler here has a hole right in the center, which is nice. I think this is to fit inside like a school binder. So this one here has a hole in it that's perfect. It's right in the middle of the ruler and it's perfect for laying the marble in it because this, again, m might require you to have somebody else help you uh, hold it and especially glue it. We're, again, using hot glue to do this. So let me show you how I I'm going to do it. You'll want to do it to each one of the strings. So you should have six marbles, six pieces of string, and put them all together. So you can see I have my ruler here. I'm going to put one of the marbles right on that six inch mark. And now I want to try and line up my string so that it, I'm gluing it as centered as possible, just like that. So I'll need some hot glue on top of that marble. Be careful not to burn yourself. And then take that string and line it up so that it goes right onto the marble and let it dry like that. So now that we have all six of those marbles glued up and they're sitting on the string, the next part here is to get our cradle and get this ready and we are going to be lining up the string so that it'll cross on this section here okay from side to side now for this pendulum to work properly we need to make sure that we space our marbles across the cradle here as evenly as possible and we're going to space them out every half an inch so I'm going to show you how I'm going to mark that on my cradle here and you try and do the same thing. So the first step here is I'm taking the measurement from of just the inside of our cradle here and that's about four and for me it's about four and a quarter. So that half of that would be two and an eighth. So that is just counting the line segments. Here's two and I'm going to count one eighth which is right here. I'm going to just mark that that's going to be our center point. Do that to the bottom or the opposite side as well. So I'm going to mark that two and an eighth. That's the center of our cradle. Now following along with me we want to mark every half an inch out of the center here. So I'm going to line up my ruler so I'm going to line up on my ruler, I'm going to line up to one and a quarter right here. And I'm going to line it up with that, just like that. And for every half an inch starting at zero, I'm going to make a line. So my, it's lined up, every half inch starting with a line. Or, every half inch starting with a zero, starting at the beginning. So one, go a half an inch, two, half an inch, three, half an inch, four, five, and six. Do that to the opposite side too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now in this next part, we need to take and glue our string with the marble on it from one side to the other. And we need to do that in a way that each one of the marbles will line up with each other. See how they're all in a row like that? Perfect V there. We need to try and do the same thing. And what I found was easiest is if you just secure one part of the string to just one side of your cradle. So don't do both, just do one side of each string to one side of the cradle. I'll show you. So here's our first marble. I'm going to line this up on the back side 
and I'm going to make it so that my string is always lining up with the edge of my popsicle stick and I'm going to use that first line. So I'm going to put some glue down there and then glue that string just like that. Now let that dry and don't let your finger off the string until it's all dry. So now I'm just going to keep repeating that onto the next line over. And again, I'm just using the string and just making it just come past the popsicle stick and then glue it down. Now I'm going to show you how to line up the marbles so that they're all in a perfect V. And it does take some time. You'll have to practice. You ha might have to move some of the strings around, but it's important to try and get those marbles all lined up the be as best as you can. So, so this part here I use with hot glue. You might want to use tape, use clear tape to do the same thing. And it, it is time consuming. You'll have to take your time and try and line them up the best as possible. But it's really important that we keep all of the marbles in a row in that like V formation there as best as we can. We also want to make sure we don't bump into our support bracket on the bottom. If you do, we can also re-glue and move that support bracket so that's sitting on the bottom. So let's go ahead, let's finish this up by gluing it to the opposite side, making sure that the marbles are all lined up in a row. Okay. So I want to glue this side on of the string onto this side of the popsicle bridge there and make sure that it doesn't hit the bottom support. If it does, you can either move your string up by pulling it more or we can always move this to be on the bottom. Let's secure these up using the lines that we made before. So you can see here as I pull the string, it starts to move it off the center and then we wanna make sure that we line up our marbles like that. So I'm gonna glue that one down. Okay, so I think they're all in a line and they're all dry or all cooled off. Let's try it out. Let's see how it works. All right, good job. This is named after its inventor, Sir Isaac Newton, and what this is demonstrating is the conservation of energy. As we pull one of the marbles away from the stack, it builds up potential energy and is released in what's called kinetic energy. And that transfers through all of these stationary marbles and exits, conserving all of that energy into the last marble in the stack.